please, please. I have to substantiate this because there's things being said about the Quran, and I can't let people misquote the Quran. I just can't let people do it, especially, um, you know, Fanuna. I can't let her do it, all right? Yeah, don't let me do that. That's bad. Right. Yes. So, I will convert to Islam if. There's a verse in chapter 3, verse 48, where Muhammad, I'm sorry, excuse me, stuck for the law, where Allah says that he will teach Jesus the book, the hikmah, the wisdom, the Torah, and the gospel. He says that he will teach him. The Torah, I mean the book, the wisdom, the Torah, and the gospel. So all I want to know as a Christian, all I want to know is if someone can show me what that book is that Jesus was taught. That's it. A few moments later. Are you, are you a Muslim? Muslim? Yeah, yeah, we've, we've spoken before. I think it was yeah. on my other account. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. well welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I just wanted to discuss the kitab uh, question you had. Sure. Um, but I think King Silver wanted to go first, so let him go okay. first. Go, go ahead. Awesome. Sir. So what I was... Okay. Al-Kitab, even though that it has harakat, as we all know, the root word for that is Al-Kutub. Okay, so either way, it's still referring to a book because Al Kutub, as we all know, Arabic speakers, Al Kutub means the books. Okay, and out of that word, Al Kitaba comes. Okay, and Al Kitaba, okay, is referred to what? To a book, to a scripture, to a book. There we go. I get your point. But Al Kitaba there comes with the wisdom so al kitab wal hikmah it could just be the sunnah okay you know like so, the way of the prophets good so are you it doesn't that? have to be a literal book because so, it means okay. two things why do you just choose to accept that it means one thing well so this Not is my both. question so no, notice this notice this okay so if you're saying that jesus had a hadith fine jesus maybe had maybe had a hadith but the point is is that you're guessing Excuse me, right? Yeah. Yeah. You don't you don't know. We don't this know. is this we is guesswork. Know. That is true. That is true. We don't know. We actually so, do know because so just, on the no. end of the verse he says at in Jeel. No, dangerous. Right? We don't know because so in in some uh translations they're translating it as the book, and in some translating translatings they're translating it as the writing. Um, now, how, because this is a really good question, Logic. I looked into it as you were talking. I think that's a great question to have a look into. Yeah, um, if you look at all the scriptures that are mentioned in the Quran, which ones are they? Logic would know. What are the you, ones? You, you, got, you got the scrolls of Abraham, you got the Zabur, you got the Torah, the Quran, and the Injil by name. So, so yeah. So, Psalms, what is it in English? Torah. Mm -hmm. You have the scrolls uh, of Abraham. Scrolls mm -hmm. of Abraham, Torah, yeah, Psalms, and, and, and Quran. Gospel and uh, yeah, Quran. there we go. So, so the other one that I found a translation is scripture. It's just the kitab is scripture. So it could be the scrolls of Abraham, I think. Right. It could be any one of those. Or the it Zabur. Could be, which it makes could be, sense. Yes, it could be the scrolls of Abraham. It could be the Zabur, the Psalms. It could be one no, of the because, books no, that, because it's that is not named, name, right? Specific. Afterwards, huh? I think in the same verse, it's mentioned. The other ones are mentioned by name. No, only only the Torah and the Gospel are mentioned by name. Oh, okay. Not in, in in that verse. Not not anything else. So that's why. Yes, it leaves, I think it leaves open. For, but I think it makes. I think it's sense mentioned. It would be the scrolls of Abraham because I think Jesus was a very special prophet in Islam, where he was, you know, born talking. He's able to he has all the wisdom and the scrolls of abraham are like the original uh laws so another way to uh translate the the book is actually the laws so that's also another thing so yeah could be on his views so yeah so, in my opinion so, so all, it all says 
hold on, hold on, Dangerous. Let me just say this. So all in all, what we have so far is we don't know what this book is. It can be, an, uh, it can be, we can interpret it to be many other things, right? But there's no definitive answer on what it is per the Quran. It's, it's really where it is because all says in the Quran that he gave the angel to Jesus. So we know Jesus got the angel, but Jesus got taught the scriptures that came before him and the Injil is the new loss that he got. Well, you know? so, okay. so he so got taught the Sunnah the... from before and then he got taught the Injil. Which yeah. Malik is, uh, and the Torah. Malik is telling you in the chat that you're lying. So, Except it's not it's not a new law, Dangerous. You have to consider that the scrolls of Abraham were changed, then the Torah was changed, and every time God is coming with a <laughs> renewed um, message, it's the same message, but it's like new to the people again because they've forgotten about the old message because it's been lost. That's the whole exactly. point. Why the Quran is the miracle because it mm -hmm. hasn't changed at all in 1400 yeah. years. Oh, by the way, like I said, yeah, Malik is in the chat. Uh, Malik is telling you in the I'll chat that you're lying. Cut off my right hand if you convert oh. to Islam, Which, whatever I give you in front of your friends. Friends, like I'll cut words. off my right hand if you do exactly. it live. I just got a quick no question logic. for logic, guys. So, logic with the conversation that's been going on, uh, the Quran says that it's a uh, a perfectly detailed book, uh, fully detailed. Um, I, I'm, I'm now starting to question that. Why aren't you? Well, well, yeah, I mean, what we have here is an example where the Quran is literally, literally not detailed and it doesn't explain what this book is. It's not full, it's not detailed. So that would... In my opinion, if we're doing an honest assessment, that goes against the verses in the Quran that says explicitly that it's a detailed explanation of everything and a full detailed explanation and its verses are explained in detail. This Logic. goes against that for sure. Where does it say that it's detailed? I've, I've heard it being called clear, but not detailed. Uh, chapter 12, verse 111. Details, yeah, it says details. Can you read it out to me, please? Yes. It says, in their stories, uh, there is a lesson for them. Um, but this is not a fabrication, um, but is a confirmation of what came before it and a detailed explanation of everything and a guide and a mercy for those who believe. Okay, I don't see any contradiction in what I said before. So the contradiction would be where this verse says that the Quran is a detailed explanation of everything. And then we go to a verse like where we're at right here, 348, is actually not detailed or, or explained. So that falsifies the verse that say that the Quran is fully detailed and explained about everything. Not really, because some details and are important so <coughs> for example there's for also example, a verse there's also a verse in the quran that states wait, wait, as well bro, bro she was i'm sorry she was just talking man all right uh, go on go on go on go on sorry my bad i was going to say some details and are important so for example i went to the supermarket today to buy dates do I need to tell you the details of, you know, I walked down, I took the elevator, I went down and then I saw the, my, my post on the way. And then I walked across the street. There was, you know, stripes of yellow on the street. Doesn't need that detail. If the Quran gives you the details you need to, you know, understand. And, and let, let, me, let me give you, I, I like that analogy, but I'd like to clarify that guys. a little bit. One, one, one second, please. Let me engage with the sister a bit. Um, that's under uh, an analogy where the statement is not made that you are going to give a detailed, ex explained report of what happened. Right now, if you if you are doing, let's say, a police report, for example, all of that is necessary. They don't care about. If it's if it matters like that or not in a police report, 
You have to give a full detailed explanation of everything. I walked out the door, made a right, and I saw this. I observed whoopty whoopty whoop. And then for at, at this this time, and yada yada yada. My my cousin works for the the academy, and and uh, man, and I used to do security, so it, you know our reports. It was annoying at how the details that were just like it didn't matter, but I had to be fully detailed and explained about every about everything I did. Right. So with the Quran, though, with the Quran, it makes the claim that it's a detailed explanation of everything, at least everything that's in the Quran. I I'm willing to be intellectually honest with this and say the Quran is not telling you about how to make a microwave. It doesn't mention how the microwave or nothing like that. Right. But, but, but hold on, whatever hold on, the Quran, I'm about hold to hold this. whatever the Quran mentions itself, it should be detailed and explained. You're right. What the what's in the Quran? Logic, you hey. are very knowledgeable about the Quran, so I'm sure you're aware of this. You're aware of the verse that says that there are some things some that, that are, are unclear and some that are clear. Yes. Right. Yeah. Your logic. Exactly. So, so, so that, that, that's even a contradiction right there. No, that's a it's not a contradiction. So how, this is how I see it. You can think of it as a contradiction. But, but, you before you go, before, before you go, before you go, sorry. Yeah. Um, Central wants to come up, guys. Is there somebody that can drop? Not a Muslim, but. Is there somebody that can drop for for, for central? Yeah, uh, I could do that for sure, bro. Okay, how do that? So everybody, Lo logic. Don't, could don't you go nowhere, it, still. Lo logic. Could you just quickly tell me what verse it is? That, it's uh, chapter three, verse forty-eight. The logic. Th this is the one that we're talking about, yeah. Yeah. So let. Uh, fee, fee, um, I'm so sorry. So what, what? How do I say your name? I don't want to. Fanuna. Fanuna. Thank you. Yeah. Fanuna. All right, go ahead. Continue. Yeah. So I was just saying, so we've, for me, this is my opinion. I've, I agree that it's only the detail that is required for me to understand that this is the word of God and that I need to believe in it and that God exists and it's the truth. Now on the other verse where it says that there are some things that are very clear and there are things that are very unclear. What does the verse after that say? Uh, I'm not sure. It says something around, and don't quote me exactly, but something about how the people will try to um, have arguments about the stuff that's unclear, and you know God doesn't oh, that, really care. Oh, that that's in the same that's in the same verse. Exactly. So so basically, what I'm getting from that is God is telling me, okay. I'm giving you what you need to hear. There's I'm also giving you some things that are some things that are a bit mysterious. You know, we have mysterious letters in the Quran. I don't know what Alif Lam Mi means. You know that, right? The mysterious letters. Yeah. We can we can sit here all day and start trying to figure out what Alif Lam Mi stands for. What is it an abbreviation? I've done that before as a kid, actually. Like I've been like, oh, I'm gonna be that kid that, that finds out what this mysterious three letters means. But God told me that I may, and there might be someone who will eventually, you know, there are stuff in the Quran that when the Quran came, lots of people didn't understand it. Like they didn't understand the whole embryology thing. They didn't understand things about the universe, about the big bang. But then later on, science found out about it. Okay. So you, um, it sounds like you, from the understanding that you get from 12, 1, 11, is that the Quran is detailed about the important things to you. And you would have a point if that's what the Quran said or if the Quran left the verse, like left that open, but it doesn't. Like if it said, for example, it's, it's a, a detailed explanation, you can argue that it's specifically a detailed explanation about the clear verses or the verses that are, you know, relevant to your guidance or something. But that's not what the verse says. The verse says that it's a detailed explanation of everything. Everything. What verse is this then? This is chapter 12, verse, verse 11. I, I, I think that a person who seeks after God and is honest and allows their honest humility to lead them into reading the text honestly in its context not misrepresenting it, will see the problem. Because there's no way in the world you can reconcile one verse that's... Look, a contradiction is 
A and non-A at the same time. You can't have a verse saying the Quran is fully detailed and explained about everything. Then have another verse saying there are some clear verses and some unclear verses. Can I um, respond you, to that, that? That that does not go. Here, but just things. say that again. Detail and clarity are two different things. So look, it's, it's like this, guys. Let, let's just go with this, okay? Let's go back to the like what, what Chris is talking about. If so, the Quran says it's a detailed explanation, detailed explanation of everything. That's chapter twelve, verse one hundred eleven. Okay. The very first verse that I brought up about the book that Jesus is taught, it's not detailed about that. It's not. It doesn't explain what that is. So that shows that that verse. Is not true, right? Tells he's not gone into detail because nope. it's not relevant. So then, so, wait, wait, you saying that why, it's not relevant? Me, why, no, no, hold on, let's go back to the book. Okay, remember, this is where it came from the book. Why is that so relevant to you? Uh, because it's, it's, a, it's applying a book to my Lord, saying that he was taught a book that's different from the gospel and the Torah. So I, I find that extremely interesting and I think that if Jesus is taught something, the Messiah, the word of Allah and the spirit from him that's cast down to Mary, I think it's pretty important that we should know what it is that he was that he was taught and that he was given. When he was alive, Jesus, he was already taught uh, uh, Psalm and other books. So, in fact, when he comes back, he, he will be already knows uh, Quran. So I would, Quran is already been taught by in the heaven. Quran is from the heaven. I, I would so, like let, to let, read that. Let's let Central. Let's let Central touch on this. He's been uh, he's been quiet. Central, you there? Uh, just, just let me read the ayah before. Uh, go ahead. Because you're just quoting a small part of it, right? I'm literally quoting you the all the whole verse of three forty eight. No, no, no. This. Okay, so in their stories, there is truly oh, a lesson for people of reason. In their stories, there is truly a lesson for people of reason. So here's reason. This message cannot be fabrication. It is a confirmation previous relation and things a guide and a mercy for people of faith. So reason is in there. So it's a for the people of reason. People no. of reason who doesn't deviation in their heart. We'll see this as a clear message, basically. Do you hear? Do you and hear a guide the cop out? and a mercy? Do you, do you do you hear the cop what? out? All, all, all you have to do to try to escape this is say you're a non-believer, so you can't get this. You have to be a believer oh, in no. order to not see the contradiction. No, you don't need to be a believer. You need to be a man of reason, because reason is in the verse. You can, you need to read the verse next, right? Do you know so what, I'll read do you it again. In their going? stories, it's talking about stories, right? This is Sheikh. In Lodge their stories, you're talking to Sheikh. Lodge. No, man, the, to, you have to interpret it, the whole thing. You cannot just take it, one poisonous apple, the whole basket. Look, look, with the does, does the verse say that the Quran is a detailed explanation of everything or not? No, that's not what the verse says. So listen to the verse again. And you, yo, what? Listen, listen. Oh, in my. their stories, he done throwing a lot. In their part. stories, stop, stop there it. is stop, stop, dude. Let me read the verse again. This is the first time I read it. You've been reading, quoting a small just, part of it. Hold it. Just stop. Why don't you take the whole verse? Why you just want to take this small part? Go ahead, quote it again. In their stories, there is truly a lesson for people of reason. This message cannot be a fabrication, rather a confirmation, revelation, a detailed explanation of all things, guide and a mercy for people of. Okay, so I'm asking you again, Danger. Did that verse say that the Quran is a detailed explanation of all things or not? Facts, it did. So in Arabic, it says, What of Sila Kulli Shay in? Does it say, uh, No, it's not like I have a different. It is, you say, it is 
not in the way you're saying it that see, every ayah is a comment because if it was the case we would need scholars sorry, let me let me cut in here let me cut in here because this is where at this part of the conversation it gets difficult because now i feel like and this is not i like you a lot so do not get me wrong with anything i like you a lot trust me i'm just saying in this like part too, of the man. conversation thank you in this part of the conversation i feel like you're not being honest with the text here Okay, because it literally even no cases. He's a Muslim. He has. He's not on my side. He's a Muslim. He says, "Yeah, facts. That's what it said." Like it we does. all heard it. It does. But then again, we don't. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop the whole in a minute. Because as I said before, Quran is a book of wisdom. It's not a book of foolish people. Foolish people can never understand Quran because Quran states that Quran al Hakim, meaning Quran is rich of of wisdom. Right. And then, Hold on a minute, hold on a right. minute. So without wisdom, you can never understand Quran. And that's why I'm saying Quran. How do you know it's talking about the Quran? Uh, if you read it um, like pro properly, like the, if I, I'm looking at the... the, there's, a verse, the there's, a verse that says, there's a verse that says in the Quran, it's a very, only wise people would understand. If you can't find anything in the Quran, if, if, it, if you can't find anything in the Quran, you can find this verse that says to you, in kuntum la ta If you can't find anything that is not in details, go and ask people who wrote in details, whatever you're looking for. Okay, good. So, so, so there's that, that's a, that's if you a, don't know how no, to make the details of microwave, no, no case, case. That's another it. problem. That's another it's problem. It's not. Now, it's not. You, have, you have in the Quran where it says that it itself is fully detailed and explained. Detailed explanation about everything. You then have the other verses that say there's some clear verses and then there's some unclear verses. So those verses are not detailed and explained. And then you have well, another verse. Well, it's not saying says, what you're and saying. Then there's another verse that says that if you don't know, go on to the people, people of knowledge. But according to 3 verse 7, not even they will know the meanings and the interpretations of these verses. So what's the point of going to them? Only some Allah people. knows the meaning. Like I said, okay, there listen, are some listen. Like so, an Islam meme that only God knows. Yes, that's true. Guys, you have to. No, it's in that. the ayah. You're just misquoting it. L logic. What I'm who, saying, who you're misquoting. You're saying it's a deed. <laughs> you're misquoting <laughs> the ayah. It says. How do you? How are you? He's, he's misquoting it. You're the one who read it. <laughs> what you, you read so it. How is you So he's talking about. It? Well, you have to. It's in Arabic. Right, so in Arabic, clearly says that it's talking about a detailed guide. Yes, the guide is detailed, fully detailed. And that's and I I will challenge you to find one detail that you don't understand about guidance the, in Islam. Is the Quran a guide? <laughs> yes, of course it's a guide. So so therefore, at, the, at this point, we just need a. That's what it says. It says, look. A confirmation of relations, a detailed explanation of all things, a guide, and, a guide, and a for people and, of faith. So, so, it's you, so it so uses it's you, oh, first. No, 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 let me jump in. Let me jump in. So it's telling you all the qualities of the Quran. Okay, it's not a fabrication. It's a confirmation of previous revelation, and a detailed explanation of all things. And a, a guide and a mercy for those who believe. It doesn't believe say. It. And. Could, could I? Uh, it doesn't say it. and. Yes, it does. The no, word look, is look it up. There, bro. A guide. Read it, read it again in Arabic. Just, sorry, read it again look, in Arabic. Logic. Could I? Yeah. So look in Arabic, guys. Look in Arabic. Oh I'll just skip to the last part. It does say what? It says what? Yeah, in Arabic it says that but it doesn't say and in English. Anyway, I don't know why you guys are trying to prove this point. You've literally fallen into the trap of that verse that says people are, you know, trying to talk about irrelevant things, guys. You're Muslim. You shouldn't be. Uh, yeah, I see what you did there. Then, so, wait, let me let me stop you there. Because the verse doesn't say that the unclear <sighs> verses are irrelevant. It doesn't say that. It just says that they're unclear. Um, Logic. Am and, I and then, wait, 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 please, please, please. Okay, please, my please. point. I'll, please, I'll, please, please. Yeah, go ahead. So, 
So it just says that they're unclear. It doesn't say that they're irrelevant. Two, it's the verse that we're talking about literally says detailed about everything. Everything, guys. Like we, yeah, we, but we, who? we there, there's Logic. no fighting this. Yeah. Logic, so can I this, no. for who? We said this is Lord, It's for everything you need to know. Girl, you have done it again. Is that what the Quran says? No, no, no guys. Yeah. It, it says no okay. at the start of the wait, verse. Wait, wait, stop, stop, it stop, says stop, please, danger, for danger, the please, people please. of reason. Dangerous, please, please, right? Please, please, please. I have to substantiate this because there's things being said about the Quran, and I can't let people misquote the Quran. I just can't let people do it, especially uh, you know, Fanuna. I can't let her do it. All right. Yeah. Don't let me do that. That's bad. Right. Yeah. So, so listen. The Quran does not say detail about everything you need to know. It doesn't say that. But wait, right? isn't it saying about the stories of the prophets? Isn't that what it's saying? No, it's saying that the Quran itself, the Quran itself. So look, it says in their stories, there's lessons in their stories, right? For people of reason in their stories, right? And this, talking about the Quran, is not a fabrication, but... Yep a confirmation of what came before it and yeah. a detailed explanation of everything right and a guidance and of mercy for those who believe so look right so where chapter 3 verse 48 what's Which that, says, that you i don't like you how words and calling out something it's a detail that you are trying to find out what that detail is okay so it's That's not what you're but it gave you a detail. No, it didn't. It did. It gave you an extra detail. You extra. Yeah. Well, it is an extra thing because you're looking because you're looking at that. What is that kitab? You don't know what it is. It's so it doesn't that. have the detail. I, I, right? I can explain. I can explain it. Wait, wait, wait. So it doesn't have the detail, right? No, it's giving you a detail. But not all the details. But you just want to know the explanation. You want to know the definition of that. I, I, I don't even. I don't even, I don't want to know the definition of book. I just want to know what it is. Yeah. It can't exactly. tell me what it is. He's giving you the detail. Yeah. He's giving that, you the detail. It's missing that detail. Well, you go and ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to give you guidance. You okay. Like, there we go. Lo logic. Is. Can I explain? Your wait, logic. Wait, wait, before, logic. Wait, wait, because it's central. Have... Central's next. Central's next. But thank you C for that. Can I go after? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, because now we have resorted to, well, go ask God about, about it, and, and, and help. hopefully he gives you guidance. Yeah, I, I told That's... you, I don't know what Elif Lam Mi means. Do you know what Elif Lam Mi means? Okay, no, why no I don't. Not so, to, why, don't but, why didn't you try but, to but, Luna, about Luna. that detail? But listen, listen, this is the point. The point is, and, and I would. I, that's another argument I could make, but... That's not the argument. You should I'm make right it. Now. You should make it. And we'd be here. I'll, I'll, I'll make it tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. I'll make that argument. <laughs> but look, right now, I, you know, this is just something I believe is simple and it's it's clear. Now we're at we're at the point where it's just ask God for the guidance of it. Maybe he'll guide you to what it is. No, that, I, I'm that's not the, that. the point can, is can I explain? But the point, no, central next. After the point, the point is. Is that the Quran is not detailed or explained about this particular thing that I'm asking? Therefore, chapter 12, 111 has been falsified. 